This video will show you how to navigate through Blackboard. Once you've logged into Blackboard, you are taken to the My Institution tab. This is a dashboard of modules that you can customize based on what information you want to see when you log in to Blackboard. Here you will find many information modules, such as announcements, and most importantly, your courses. You can add and remove modules, as well as set notification settings for each of your courses by going to My Places and Edit Notification Settings. Each semester you'll see more courses added to the My Courses list. Some will be current courses you're enrolled in, and some will be courses from previous semesters. To remove courses you're no longer taking, click on the Manage Module Settings indicated by the gear icon. Now I can uncheck the courses that I no longer need to see in the My Courses list, and click Submit to save my modifications. Now let's look at a Blackboard course site. To access one of your courses, click on its link in the My Courses box. In most courses, the first thing you'll see is either the home page or the announcements page. Here we see the announcements page. Your instructor may use the announcements area to send messages to the entire class. If your course uses the home page, you will see this dashboard that is similar to the My Institution tab, except that it contains information specific to this course. These modules will automatically populate with information on due dates, new materials that have been added to the course, and other information. On the left you will see the course menu, which is used to navigate through the course site. This menu can be collapsed using this toggle button. If your buttons are ever hidden, this button may be why. It is a good idea to click through the buttons in your course menu so you are familiar with the layout. All courses are different, so yours may not look exactly like this. Let's take a look at each of these course menu buttons. Your syllabus and due date information may appear like this, or they may be found under a single button. The Modules button often contains most of the course content. This button may also be labeled Units, Course Content, or course documents. Within the modules area, you may see folders or learning units. To access the content within a folder, click on the folder name. You'll notice that the folder name is underlined, indicating that it is a link. As you can see here, this folder contains a list of items. Notice that this item has a document attached which you can open or save by clicking on the document link. Let's also take a look at a learning unit. I'm going to navigate back to the modules page by using the breadcrumb trail at the top of the page. The breadcrumb trail can be used in addition to the course menu to navigate through a Blackboard site. To begin a learning unit, click on its title. When the learning unit has more than one page, you can move through the pages using the arrows at the top right. You can also see the list of pages in the table of contents to the left. Jump to a specific page in the learning unit by clicking on the underlined title. You can also collapse, expand, or move this table of contents panel to the bottom of the screen using these toggle buttons. The Assignments and Quizzes and Exams buttons will only have content if the course has online assignments or tests. In the Communication button, you will find links to Discussion Board, Send Email, Blogs, Wikis, and Journals. Your course may have more links in the communication area, or it may have fewer. You may also see these tools as individual buttons. Your instructor will provide you with instructions, 
if these tools are being used in your class. The My Grades button will allow you to track your progress in the course. To learn more about how to use this tool, watch the Checking My Grades video. Your course may have a Resources button and a WCC Library button, or they may be combined in a single button. In the Resources area, there is information on how to contact the Blackboard Help Desk and links to software resources. Use the WCC Library button to search for on-campus and online books and articles. To go to another course site within Blackboard, click on the My Institution tab at the top left of the screen. This will take you back to the main Blackboard page where we started. For more help using Blackboard, contact the Blackboard Help Desk.